Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys saw by the title, we'll be doing my monthly makeup haul for the month of February. I... this month, yo. It's gonna be a good month. <laughs> First, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's just get started. Now we're about to end the video, sorry. <laughs> my bad. Right. First things first, so I have so many products to talk about. We're gonna rapid fire because I have places to be, people to see. First things first, I placed an order at Sephora and I purchased the Kosas, the new Kosas Illuminator thing. I actually returned that eventually. So my pricing is off for a while and then my total though at the end is correct because I minus the stuff. So I'm just going to tell you the total. I'll tell you the price of each individual thing but I won't tell you like what the total is so far. I'll just tell you the total at the end um, because it's a little bit thrown off. But I did pay $41 for that and that's why I was kind of like no. I used it once and I was like this is hideous. I'll even pop in like a little video because it looks so bad on my skin. I said absolutely not. It was like I just put like freaking glitter on my skin and I even went to the counter to return it and I never return anything just so you know I feel so bad returning it I don't like it it was my mistake I shouldn't have done it but <laughs> in my defense first of all it was false marketing no one told me that nothing on the website on Sephora's website said that there's glitter in it um, none of the models have the flex that I have on my face in 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 that video that I showed you on the photos and I even did a half and half so half my face had glitter the other half didn't and I know, so I know that it was the product. Anyway, I even went to the counter to return it, and she goes, not, n just not feeling it, and I'm like, no, not feeling it, and she's like, oh, is there too much glitter in it? And I'm like, yeah, yes, exactly. But I'm like, I'm glad you understand my problem. So, um, a product like that, I probably should have gone in the store and swatched, so it is, I mean, for me, I feel bad about it, but I was like, $41, I'm not playing with it, I'm returning it. So I returned it. Anyway, um, so that threw everything off. The other product, though, that I did get... Um, with that order was just a little mini of the Benefit 24 hour brow setter so it came like you can add on for a 20 uh, like a over 35 per whatever so I love the 24 hour brow setter I love these little guys they last a long time so um, I'm definitely was really excited about that honestly but obviously this was just a free gift to purchase so really I paid nothing for that but you know what I mean okay then um, oh my gosh I don't have it with me <laughs> I did unbox the, I mean, I did get the ColourPop mystery box. Honestly, though, I'm keeping nothing from it. So I didn't, I'm not going to share it all with you. But I paid $37 for it. They came out with a new bun, a new mystery box this past, like a little bit ago. And I was like, do I want this one? Like, maybe this is my redemption. But I didn't get it. So anyway, maybe I'll pop in a clip. Maybe not. But I paid $37 for it. It was a bunch of skincare, a bunch of junk. It was just nonsense. Like, I even was going to do a whole video of it. And it was just a really bad quality. It was just like... Like, what am I even doing here? So, there's that. Okay, next I placed the Ipsy add-on. And I like to count it because I paid, obviously, separately for it than my Ipsy. So, this cost $12.17. I actually bought the Laura Mercier. It's the Translucent Loose Setting Powder in the shade Light Catcher. I use this one so far, and I really like it. I just feel so bougie having Laura Mercier, this powder, in my collection. And this is powder is not even, like, the bougies or the bougie. Laura Mercier isn't super, super, like... Lux or anything like that but for me it was like super exciting I was like okay I want this so I really was excited about this I'm enjoying using it I'm really glad with this purchase <laughs> I'm like so far I'm back zero and this is the only thing like my saving grace right here it's like this month I purchased a lot of like oneers besides the like I bought like my purchases were one product really um most for the most part besides like the ColourPop mystery box and then, so next I placed an uh, Ulta order, and I only got two products. So I picked up, they both came back in stock at the same time, so I was like, okay, I'll just grab them while they're both in stock. In stock. This is the Tarte Sculpt Tape Contour in the shade Cool Bronze. I think I've only used this once or twice. I do like it. I just have to use it more, honestly, like, honestly. And I feel like next month I probably should do, like, try to do a no-buy or something like that so that I'm using the products that I have, because I just want to buy so, so freaking much. Um, but honestly, I know, I think the Sephora VAB sale should be coming soon. So I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I want to say I want to do a no-buy, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I feel like I could until the Sephora VAB sale. Maybe we'll do that. 
Anyway, I need to use this more, but I did like it so far. And then this is the Flower Beauty Low Light Liquid Contour in the shade Medium. I honestly didn't love this, but I only used it like once on my nose. I didn't even use it on my face. But I feel like it dried down a little too fast for like my liking, but we'll see. Um, like I feel like at the Milani one I like better, this Tarte one I like better, like some other ones I like better. So I don't know, we'll see. But together I paid $52.46 for that order. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of dollars. But this is exciting. Honestly, the Tarte one was really exciting. The Flower Beauty one is like, but it's like still a good order. This is all by the third, mind you. This is the third of the month, February 3rd. I went, like, by then I went ham. Um, but then, <laughs> we didn't stop there. So, um, next I purchased an order at, uh, from Moira, Moira Cosmetics. It's the Time to Shine Celestial Series Palette. Um, I did do a video, did I, yeah, I used to do the new makeup video with this in it, and I honestly really like this palette. I want to use it so much more, but, um, like, for some reason I just bought 50 eyeshadow palettes this month. Not literally, but, sort of. <laughs> so, um... This was one of them, so I'm like, I have to use all the other ones, but I'm excited to keep playing with this. It was not expensive. I paid $18.87 for this eyeshadow palette. She's, like, really hunky-chunky, but it is super, super pretty, so honestly, it's, like, fine. It's worth it. I'm really excited to keep playing with that one more. The formula so far is really, really nice. It's a really nice formula. I went to Marshall's, and I found this, and I want to try Glam Light so freaking bad, so I needed to get it. <laughs> this is the Glam Light Frosted Flakes palette. Um, and, and, like, I know, like, for me, I love Frosted Flakes, but, like, not this die hard. So I was kind of like, okay, like, Frosted Flakes was not that exciting, but buying it, I paid freaking, how much did I pay for it? $18.01. I paid $16.99, but then, obviously, tax. Like, for this palette, was like, okay, it looks so beautiful. I am so excited to play with these. These tones look so fun and fresh, and I'm really excited about the formula because I know people love Glam Light, and, like, honestly, um, there's not really many other palettes that I would purchase from them so far, but I'm like, what if there's, a, like, a collection I really, really want and I don't know what the formula is like? You know what I'm saying? So I'm, like, scared. So I was like, let me try it. So I bought this, and I'm really excited to play with it, but I honestly, ha I obviously have not yet. Um, so, uh... Anyway, I wanted to mention that. <laughs> Again, this is by, like, the 6th or whatever. Like, that's insane. But um, I got that at Marshalls. I don't know if I said Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Um, but they do have, like, really random gl glam light palettes. Um, so it's really cool if you want to try some. It's just, like, um, it's not going to be their newest ones or anything like that. Okay, then I went to Target and I saw this and I was like, what is this? I've never seen this before in my life. So this is the ColourPop Matte Bronzer. This is the shade Silver Strand Beach. Now, um, I was like, what? where who what why so this is honestly i believe this is exclusive to target the packaging now they have the exact same sh shades on ColourPop's website but they have them in their pretty fresh pretty fresh line packaging so it's just the matte bronzer or like the pretty fresh bronzers or something like that but they're the same shades they're just in different packaging so i was because i was like, confused at first and i was like why is no one talking about this da, 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 da. but i was really excited this is actually i paid 12 dollars for this um and let me see here yeah, I paid $12 for this again. I got it at Target. So, very exciting, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see. Next, I placed, again, another one. Uh, these are all oneers. The rest of these are all, like, oneers, really. So, this I bought the Laura Lee Los Angeles Lip Gloss. Honestly, should I wear this today? I honestly, like, love this. This is the shade Nude Blossom. So this is the only one that didn't have like shimmer in it and I really wanted it but it has that cool magnetic closure where you don't have to twist it. You can just pull it and it's so freaking pretty. I used it once and I'm obsessed. Like honestly this is one of my favorite products this month um, for real for real. I paid $18.44 which is not bad for a lip gloss although it's itty bitty but it's like a, a lip gloss. A Laura Lee lip gloss like come on. I'm taking it. So I was really excited about that. And then I was, was at Ross. And this, I wish I would have got like freaking four of them. There's two of them and I should have bought both. But um, this is the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. This mascara is so freaking good. I'm just like, it is so, so amazing. I'm so mad at Bite Beauty for taking this away from me. Because your lashes, like no mascara makes my lashes look this good this easily. Um, it's like lengthened, volumized, everything you want in a mascara is this, and it's, like, does it to perfection. Like, so it's not even just that it does everything, it does everything to perfection, and I just wish that this was still available. If you can find it at Ross, I got mine for $3.99. I should have bought both. What's wrong with me? <laughs> $3.99. <laughs> okay, then I went to Ulta, 
And I bought the Juvia's Place um, I Am Magic Natural Ratings Foundation. I didn't know if I was going to like this. I tried it, kind of, whatever. Um, if you guys saw my new makeup video, then you guys would have seen this too. It's nice. I mean, I really liked it when I wore it that day. And um, I just feel like the, I just can't wear it every single day because I feel like it just has, you need to kind of do a certain routine with it. And it's not every day like friendly. Like if I'm in a rush, it's not like super easy just to kind of put this on. So, um, I don't wear it all the time, like I haven't worn it too much, but I really do like it. So this is the, I paid $20 for this. I probably, did I, I don't know how I paid $20 for this, because I think this is like $23. I might have used the coupon, yeah, the $3.50 off, maybe. Anyway, <laughs> but I purchased this on the 11th, so um, there's that. <laughs> All right, and then my last order for the month actually was from ColourPop. So I do have a few other products to show you, but my last order was from ColourPop. I'm just going to put everything in here. Okay, sorry if that changed real quick. <laughs> but I did buy the ColourPop um, Dreams Come True products. I only bought these two. Um, so I bought the mirror, and I just, it's so freaking cute. I needed it. I'm going to buy every mirror that they come out with if it's a cute collection, like, not going to lie. I'm so mad that they didn't come out with a Harry Potter mirror. But this is the Snow White Make-A-Wish, uh, Make-A-Wish and Unlock the Magic, the handheld mirror. You can only get this at, um, ColourPop's website. So, usually, like, so, uh... They did bring this collection to Ulta, but you can only get the mirror off ColourPop's website. So just so you guys know, I'm sure most of you know that if you're curious and if you're like addicted to like to ColourPop, if you're, if you know, you know, basically all I'm trying to say. But I did pick up the eyeshadow palette. I'm wearing it today. I, d I was not in love with this color scheme. I was more so in love with the fact that they were coming out with these princesses. And so I'm like, if they keep coming out with princesses, um then I want to have them all. So I needed this one to start it off. So <laughs> here it is here. I just think it's, it's pretty. I think honestly, the look I came up with today was I'm really excited about because it's really pretty. I honestly feel like I could use all of these shades. The pop of blue, like I wouldn't use probably, but like this red looks so yummy. Those shimmers look beautiful. And like, it does look like a palette I could use. It's just not one that I know I'm gonna use a lot. But honestly, today it surprised me a little bit more than I thought because this look is super super pretty and it's very like me it's just like a little bit like more than neutral kind of neutral look you know like I, more than basic kind of basic look <laughs> you know what I mean so I don't know I'm obsessed though um I had to pick that up and this cost I paid $22 for both of these because it came with like a little set I also did I buy something else to stay either way I paid I got like a discount off of it um, because I used someone's code, but then I also had to pay for shipping, so, like, I kind of canceled those out of each other, and I just put the price of what it is, $22. So, my total this month was $216.25, which is obscene, a lot of dollars, that's a lot of dollars, <laughs> and I wish that it wasn't that many dollars, but I needed all this stuff, and that's with the, um, me returning the COSAS, so, like, imagine what the co it would have been with the COSAS, so, I was, um, shook about that, but, um, real quick, my friend also, she gave me this, these two palettes. We did Secret Valentine at my job, and she gave me these. So, this is from Pure. It's the Nabella. It's Embrace Your Face Eye and Cheek Palette. Um, it looks really, really cute. Look how pretty that is. So, we'll see. That's pretty. I've never, I don't try too much from Pure, but I thought that was super cute, so I did want to show you guys that. And then, she also, um, <laughs> got me from... Glam Light, the Hershey Kisses Cookies and Cream Palette. So this is like so freaking cute. Like I love looking at all these palettes. I've never bought one though. Um, and I even saw these at Hershey Park. But just look how freaking cute that is. Like so cute. So um, I was excited about that. Um, again, I only paid two hundred. I mean, I paid two hundred sixteen dollars this month. Maybe next month we'll try to do a no buy except for the Sephora VAB sale. We'll see though. Anyway, guys, so that is it for this video. Um, usually I do products I declutter, but I'm just like, I don't want to put too much. Uh, uh, not usually. I wanted to start putting products I declutter, but right now I'm currently going through my makeup collection and doing a mini declutter. So I feel like those products are well better in that video, and then eventually I'll kind of put them in here when I'm not doing that series. So let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.